Welcome to the BBC School News Report 2016. Craig Home Edition. We've been working towards this all year. It's finally here. Today's the big day. Here we have our journalists. Our newspaper team. This is the editorial team. The weather team. <laughs> and here's our reporters. car park. This 80 space car park has no ramp or way to actually drive your car into the parking lot. This pointless rooftop car park has been left for five years as it can only be accessed by foot. This parking lot is occupied in Farnborough, Hampshire and placed on top of a new gym and retail complex in the town centre. What a weird car park. This is BBC News and I'm Molly. And I'm Afton. Thank you. BBC News! My name is Tiana and my name is Eleanor and today we're going to tell you some brief stories. The 16 year old killer of Bailey Gwynn who was stabbed to death last October by his classmate in an argument which led to disaster has been charged with culpable homicide. He was also charged with having a knuckle duster and a knife in his coat. Bailey and a group of friends were in a corridor of a school in Aberdeen. The fight began after Bailey made an offhanded remark about another boy's weight and a few given off biscuit. The resulting fight sadly ended in Bailey's death as the other boy threw out a knife. Would you feel safe in that school? 76% of the 51 teachers and pupils I asked said that they would not. And is your Samsung safe? Researchers from Michigan University have found that Samsung Galaxy S6 smartphones can be fooled by using a standard inkjet printer. We also did a survey on whether people preferred a Samsung or an Apple phone. Out of 53 teachers and pupils, 83% of them chose Apple and 17% chose Samsung. At 9.56 at 9 56 today, we emailed Samsung, but unfortunately Samsung did not reply. But at 12.30 today, we called them, but sadly the lady we got in touch with did not know the answer to any of our questions. Sexist. I searched the textbooks in the school and found there was only one stereotypical reference in a teacher's publisher at Mass Book, where a woman bought jeans and a man bought tires and petrol. But I think this is not meant to offend anyone. I asked Mr. Farley, the principal, his opinion, and he said the Scottish Qualifications Authorities has told the school that the books must have a mix of men and women. What do you think about school textbooks? Screen. 
To show awareness, two hackers took control of a Jeep and started driving it. They even stopped the car and stopped the brakes from working. So when the driver tried to park, he drove into a ditch. So, so are you really in control at the wheel? I'm Ailey. And I'm Kenzie. Reporting for BBC School News Report. Thank you. Science week is taking place next week from the 11th of March to the 20th. This is the biggest science event which takes place in the UK. It celebrates technology, engineering and mathematics. Craig Home will be taking part with fun activities and competitions coming up in the math and science department. These activities and competitions are for G7 to S6. by the John Oliver Chat Show that immigrant-hating presidential candidate Donald Trump in fact has an immigrant grandfather. His name is Frederick Trump. This man moved to New York when starting a business in Washington, changed his name to the more catchy Fred Trump. This means that Donald's real name is Donald Trump. He and the creators of this show have gone as far as trademarking Make Donald Trump Again parody of Donald Trump's slogan, Make America Great Again. Merchandise has also been made and a website has been set up. And have you ever wanted to become a mermaid? Because in a swimming pool centre in Hastings, in the south of England, you can. They have been teaching kids how to swim like mermaids, using specially made swimsuits. I think this is a good idea as it can teach kids more about how dolphins swim. Some of the kids may also idolise mermaids, so it might boost their courage. Good afternoon, I'm Kirsty, Georgia, Rosalind and Anushka, reporting on surprising results from our school survey. Up until the 29th of April, you can vote for your favourite Scottish person online to help raise money for the Burns Monument. After interviewing teachers and pupils, our survey shows that Andy Murray is Craigcombe's favourite Scot. As we looked further down in our survey, it showed that Nicola Sturgeon was beaten by a doll, who was closely followed by Nina and the Neurons. In a competition between the two, Nicola got 5% and Bobby got 95%. This shows us that our much-loved canine friends are truly some of the best Scots. That's all that we have for today. Thank you.